Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Santia. Definitely make sure you click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. So today I'm actually at the Takugama Sanctuary and I've gone around already, viewed the place and they also gave me a tour of the their lodge that they have here as well and I'm actually currently sitting in front of one of the place. So if you know you want to see everything and actually meet Sonia, my cousin, sister, I don't know, because she's Sonia and I'm Sonia. So I just kind of like fell in love with her and she's so little and so cute. So if you want to meet Sonia and also take a look, good look at the place and everything, then continue watching. Okay guys, so I actually kind of like found the place. If one was trying to call but the network, it was just like, Ugh, you're in the forest. But anyway, I'm finally here and the outward look is kind of like so nice i'm gonna show you guys so i just kind of like set up my tripod and connected my audio mic before kind of like going in and doing the registration so apparently before coming here like if you're a serial union you need a form of identification to actually clarify that if it's an id a passport your national id voters id even your birth certificate <laughs> if you can to actually show the US union and if you're a foreigner they charge extra for that so I actually bought my voters ID with me so that I can do that so anyway I'm gonna go inside now to register because I actually came for the 12 p.m. tour and it's currently 11.52 I think so I'm kind of like pretty early so I'm gonna go in and do the registration then I'll see you guys later okay got a face mask on and I'm going in I've already done the registration and I'm currently kind of like in the waiting area ah, alongside my cousins. Okay, I'm actually fond of one person because the name is Sonia and I'm Sonia. So, yeah. Anyway. So, good day. Welcome once again to Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary. Thank you. And this is the only chimpanzee rehabilitation center we have in the country. The sanctuary officially started its operation in November 1995. Our aim is to rescue and rehabilitate orphan and abandoned chimpanzees with the main aim of releasing them back in the wild. So it is very important to know that this place is not a zoo but a sanctuary. Okay. And chimpanzees across Africa are facing different challenges like in Sierra Leone, people are killing them for their meat, the, the, the bush meat trade, and their meats are being sold on local markets, even exported, and the habitat destruction is still ongoing, okay. the timber logging and all, and the pet trade. For the adult chimps, they kill them for their meat, and the baby, since they are of low meat value, they normally keep them as pets. And sometimes they sell them to some holiday makers sometimes. This is the reason why if you travel to places like Europe or Asia, you sometimes see chimpanzees. Mm -hmm. But if you see them there, it means they might have been taken from Africa, because Africa is the chimpanzee's original home. So as a result of all these challenges, we have outreach programs where we work in communities, like we are working in five districts across the country. Okay. Yeah where we meet different people. We are working uh, in over 70, commu 70 communities, thousands of people we are meeting, just to give them the right information that it is very important to protect these chimps and the forest. We also work with school going kids. We want to catch them when they are young. We are working in 26 schools across the country, okay. 12 urban schools and 14 rural schools. We sometimes bring the kids here. When, after teaching them about conservation, we bring them here so that they can see the work we are doing. Okay. Yeah. So as we're about to start now, there are rules that we must abide by in order to have a quite safe and enjoyable tour. 
we should not try to be interactive with the chimps okay. because most of these chimps here they are traumatized. Okay. Sometimes you may want to friendly, but they, they might interpret it wrongly and go for screams. So we just observe how they interact in their various enclosures. Okay. And also you are free to take pictures and videos because we appreciate people that share our work. And while doing that, you make sure you turn off the flashlights. Okay. So you are welcome. If you cannot reach me with questions, you can reach Noah. Okay. So you can make it more interactive. Hi Noah. How are you? <laughs> Fine. So the tour has officially started. These are international sponsors. Okay. Yeah. These are the sponsors. Okay. So we have the local sponsors over there, like the Addison Blue, the Brussels Airlines, and the others. We are not getting direct support from the government for Sierra Leone to run this place. Oh. So the whole sanctuary where we take visitors is divided into different stages. Okay. We have from stage one down to stage four in the forest. And so this whole area is the quarantine. And we presently have 29 baby chimps there. Okay. Yeah, five of them are going through the health screening and 24 are in the integration phase. Because when we bring them, we are not sure of their health status. Most of the diseases that affect the disease can be passed on to them. So that's the reason why we put them there for a minimum of 90 days. When they complete that, we try to create the artificial family. Okay. I'm sorry that you cannot see them now because even for us, we are not allowed to go beyond that. Point. No problem. Yeah. That's the current area. Look at Sonia. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we normally bring them in at night to sleep. Okay, so these are the rooms. Yeah. All right. Keep a couple milli full of bands, got the body stack, don't check for me. Cousins are chilling. <laughs> we pass them through here. Okay. And here they are living together as a group. They have accepted one another and they are just living as a family. Okay. And so the whole enclosure, as you see, there are no food trees, so we feed them a lot. We feed them six to seven times a day. Wow. And here we have 13 chins. Okay. And their age is between 8 to 13 years. If you take a look down the platform, the biggest chimp is the one sitting, turning his face. Okay. So you see how they are relaxed? So this here is Mac okay. and he's 13 years old. Mac! Normally whenever they see the care staff around, they normally think the care staff is around to see them. Then they continue for ACs Jack Jack that iron. You see where it is up? And if they mistake, then they come on. Put them copy. Put them in the Put them in the copy. What's that? Hey, say it again. Mike, you're in the So they're actually coming towards the gates because they think the caretaker is actually bringing food for them but they're trying to identify the first situation okay so the one with the pink butt she's a lady They land there, they start implementing those skills. Okay. Yeah. So right. that's where they come, like in a forest setting? Yes. Okay. So this area is about four acres. Okay. And so even the feeding, we feed them less here because we feed them about four times a day. Okay. For group two, we feed them like uh, six to seven times a day. Okay. okay. 
So watch how this guy is going to throw a stone. See? Normally we give them contraception. We don't want them to have babies. Okay. Yeah. Not that we. They. they we, it would have been good for them to give birth, but here is just a sanctuary and not a breeding center. Our aim is just to rescue and rehabilitate. Okay. If we just try to continue increasing their number, there will come a time when they will try to kind of be fighting for space and for food. So we don't want that to happen here. Okay, but the contraceptive, that's like a time frame, right? Yes, it's the kind of remo removable, okay. the, the, the implant, okay. you know, so that's what we give them. But even that one, you know, even with humans, it does fail. Yeah. So we, we've got two contraception failures here. Okay. One is by a chimp called somebody and the baby is someone. <laughs> and the other is a chimp by the name of uh, Reggae and the baby is Rasta. Wow. Yes. <laughs> And the, Regular baby, Rasta. Yeah, the babies have just passed one, they are between one and a half years. Okay. Yeah. But everything is going on well because, you know, here you only see them out for food or when they come to drink water after which they go. But they have more time in the forest. Okay. And we are very much happy. Like okay, so apparently this would be legit my first hiking. Okay. Because the third stage is covered quite a distance, so we're going to walk there. <laughs> No, no, I know how easy the Okay. You can tell their mood and okay. their facial expression. So you can tell when a chimp is relaxed and contented. And when a chimp is laughing also, you can Ooh. tell with open mouth, <laughs> with the lower lip dropping, slightly showing the lower teeth. Okay. And the hoot also means that the chimp is happy. Okay. So when you see the facial expression like this, the chimp is laughing, it means it is playtime. Mm. So the angry face, you clearly ah, see the open mouth. Yeah. Frowning face, the lower teeth. Okay, kind of look thing. at the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so, teams, you need to do sometimes they quarrel and fight. But the unique thing about them, when they fight in space of five to ten minutes, they make peace. Okay. They keep gorgeous. Yeah. Sometimes they kiss, they hug to tell that they are peace, to be born. They are. They are. Also, one of the tunnels that will pass them to me. Okay. So, you see the prisoner? Zap! Oh my god, he's big. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So, as you see, <laughs> how to speak chimpanzee, and this work was done for us by the world's famous climatologist. Okay. By the name of Dr. Jane Goodall, a British woman. You know, she has studied primates for over 40 years. Okay. And so, and she has been also, you know, inspiring the founder for this place. So she interpreted some of the chimps' vocalization, like this one. <coughs> this one is hello. hello. Yeah. Okay. And the smart also when they taste, uh, you know, when they get around the tasty food, they smart. And mm. this one. <coughs> die if you don't, don't have, have it. it. Okay. And it's normally done by the baby chimps. Like during feeding time, if the mother refuses to give the baby food, okay. the baby will keep on doing that. The baby will never stop doing that until the need is satisfied. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, and when you hear also the baby chimps, <coughs> when they are scared of something, they also vocalize like that. Okay. And you see a chimp sitting like this with the folding arms, Aww. it means the chimp is bored. Uh. It's so bored. Yeah. We have lots and we have that one also. <laughs> Lovely. This is weird. Hmm. So like within the group, like the alpha male is there to protect group members. So whenever the alpha male spots a danger, he is there to alert the rest of the other group members. Hoo -ha, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. Yeah. <laughs> hoo -ha, hoo -ha. Does anyone speak to you? Answer? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Memory of Julie. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Julie. Tito! Okay, so apparently this stage that we're in that this is where Sonia is and I really really want to see her. Oh, this is Sonia. Oh, uh, Sonia. Oh, that is Sonia. Uh, no, 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 this is
Mama mama de Instagram. Ok. Mama ni Suzy. Suzy. Your black face. Wow, that is Sonia. And she looks so cute, honest. Oh. You see, when a baby is born, this is not the mother, but it is the responsibility of all of them to protect the baby. <sighs> Sonia is really free in the group to move on with any of the other things. Young Bruno! There is one on the tree right there. And there's another one up here too as well, but you guys can really see them. You can see him or her. So here we have 15 chimps and their age is between 3 to 30. What? Yeah. Yeah. So that is Bruno. Yeah, young Bruno. The original <laughs> Bruno we had at first escaped. Wow. And he never came back. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can I have a big stone so? There are different ways of communicating. You cannot understand possibly what they know. Why? Okay. <laughs> you know these guys are really strong. Wapa. Since we release inside, we are looking forward to releasing them back. Okay. So, and we are happy with the way they are living. They are just living as if they are in the wild, like any other normal chimp in the wild. And so, if we get to release inside, this would be one of the first group to be released. Okay. Because if we are to release them, we release them as a group. We don't release them individually. Because we want to... We want so, when you release them as a group, mm -hmm. they go into the forest or something? Basically, yes, they go. Okay. Oh, Sonia! Yes, Sonia! Since the sanctuary started, uh, for the past 25 years, we have not made any release. Okay. Sonia! Uh. According to studies, chimpanzees, the origin, the, the, one of the safest places for them to be is on an island. Okay. It's one of the most ideal places. Because they cannot swim, they have more muscle and fat. If they make an attempt of swimming, they sink. Okay. So, so this island also is rich in terms of wildlife. You have different animals, different monkeys, three pangolin, even the big hippopotamus. Mm. You can see them there. Wow. Ten chimps, they represent all the 101 chimpanzees we have. Okay. And they represent the, the 5,500 chimpanzees across the country. Okay. So here we encourage people like you want to be a help to the sanctuary. You can be a chimp guardian okay. for 60 United States dollars for one year. Mm. Yeah, this is all of you also supporting us. Okay. So you can do it here or you can do it online as well. We have mm. our website. Yeah. Also, this is not the only work that Akugama is doing. We also do hikes, long and short. We do yoga and we also have bad watch and breakfast. Okay. We have beautiful ecologies, like you want to flee from the noisy cities, you want to come and get a cool and quiet night, mm -hmm. you are welcome. And the book where you wrote your name, you can drop a comment. This is a way of you evaluating our work. Okay. So thank you so much for visiting the sanctuary. Thank you too for sharing me around. You're most welcome. Yeah. And we have one more bonus, like we, if you're not scared of height, we mm -hmm. have a tower that stands about 70 feet. Okay. Yeah, we can go climb and you get a good view of the western area. I love that. Okay. <laughs> you guys, this step that you're seeing is the way up high to the top and I'm about to climb this. Ah, nobody say you see. Step. <laughs> okay. Okay. I made it to the top. Oh, I'm gonna keep it again. This is the overview of the whole place. So if someone wants to go on the hike, how much is it? Well, no, you it's know, 150. 150,000. Okay. Because we have That's long and short. Okay. We have the long hike that will last for about four hours. Yeah. Mm. And the short one like two hours. Okay, I'll do two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not strong enough to go on the four hours? Ah! 
I don't want to push myself. <laughs> you got that one you see a lot, like the, the cave, yeah. they will take you to the cave or oh. beautiful trees, you go to the waterfall, you know. Oh, I might go for that one. <laughs> I might, I might, I Are might. You know, uh, uh-uh. Right over there. Yeah, yes, on the boat. Boom. Ooh. Have you been there? Is the eye speaking free time? Oh, yeah. yeah, the frequent place that I can take pictures. Definitely. Oh, yeah, okay. quick stand, you can see almost all of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm making embassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, like, I'm going like 7 30 in the evening. That is. And we meet up at 8 o'clock, correct, like dinner at all. You find like for what, yeah? Yeah, you see, you go at all. Wow. Okay. I might do the hike one day mm -hmm. because you know me. I, know you I love doing that. stuff. So, really yeah. so awesome. I know what I'm the queen herself. Wow. I'm about to make my way down. Uh, One step at a time. There's no need to rush. Ooh. Finally back down. Not easy. <sighs> okay. So they're trying to give us like a tour of the they have like a lodge inside here and they're about to show us that so um yeah Ooh, my legs yo okay it was way too high but this just confirmed that i'm not scared of height okay yeah we'll click that off the list okay so we're entering the lodge in place a very good at work Buy another one. As you see around, we have these uh, lodges. This is, you know, for all the ways you can name them after a particular king that passed away. Okay. And this one is Julie Lodge. Okay. The female that was buried. Hmm. As you saw in memory of Julie. Yeah. So like, one of the lodges. So we have another also, Bruno Lodge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Philip Lodge. Okay. Yeah. So down you have the kitchen, bathroom, and up upstairs you have the bedroom. Is on the it's a okay. You are nature. Okay, so I'm going to be ending the video here. So if you know you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And from me and my cousins, we're saying thank you and also <laughs> okay. And also come back again. Come again to the channel, okay? So um to my next video, I'll see you guys and uh bye-bye from us. Oh.